70s. Now tomorrow morning in the Savannah, this is the cathedral by the way in downtown Savannah, pretty shot there. 10 o'clock, there may be a few coastal showers, but 81 degrees and mostly cloudy skies will be seen otherwise. More clouds and sunshine at the lunch hour, 86 degrees. And like I said, you can cut the air with a knife. It's going to be very, very humid once again as we have some scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms with high temperatures getting into the upper 80s. How about inland areas? Statesboro here in Bullock County. Some fog, very mild, 78 degrees, 9 o'clock, 80 and 11 a.m. Shower or storm potential, maybe inland. South winds, 81 degrees. All right, currently things are pretty quiet out there. All our highways and byways are dry, except uh, for stuff that's well, well south and west of us out of our viewing area. So we're looking pretty good here. And as we widen out the view, there is what's left of Nate's rains. Yeah, Hurricane Nate is now racing up towards the Maritimes out of our hair. And as you can see here, there's a cold front back off to the west. We're behind it. Much cooler air. Temperatures were only into the 30s in Denver, picking up a couple of inches of snow out that way. Futurecast shows at 6 o'clock in the morning. Again, maybe some inland showers, picking up a couple of spots here. A couple of coastal showers potentially from Buford down to Chatham County, but a better concentration of seeing some showers around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and then once we get to around 8 o'clock, things will wind down. Rain forecast is at 40% chance tomorrow, 30% chance on Wednesday, 20% chance on Tuesday. Now, well out in the Atlantic, we have a tropical storm. Yeah, here's another one, the 15th one, and it's Ophelia. But good news here, folks. Ophelia is going to be having its eyes set more on Spain and Portugal than it is the U.S. mainland. Now, back home for us, overnight lows are in the 70s. Tomorrow's highs in the 80s. Alma, 88 degrees. Uh, Hinesville coming in at 88 degrees. How about Statesboro? Same number. 87 at Sylvania. 84 at Skidaway Island. And 86 at Buford. And again, we have an opportunity of seeing some passing showers and thunderstorms, none of which look to be severe. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. And I hope, uh, well, you like the weekend part of it anyway, right? Because it looks right now to be fairly dry and quiet. But the heat and humidity is not going anywhere, folks. Tomorrow, Wednesday, even Thursday. Now, by the way, if, if we do reach 89 on Wednesday, that would tie a record. Uh, hard to imagine. Normal average high should be 80 degrees. And then we see. Uh, middle and upper 80s continue. Now we do have a cold front that should work its way closer to the area for Monday, Monday night of next week. So in, in a week, we'll have another front move on through at this point in time, 85 degrees. And behind that front, well, it looks like it'll be just a tad cooler and just a little less humid. Guys?